Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to rescreen your patio and porch. As you can see, um, ours is knocked out. My wife decided to adopt the neighborhood cat and she didn't like the screen. She wanted to get in there pretty bad, so she ripped it out. I'm gonna be going over all the tools and supplies that you need and any tips that are gonna help you out along the way. So let's get started. All right, the first thing you're gonna need is the actual screen itself. Today I'm just gonna go over the main three. There's several types of screen out there. There's fiberglass, aluminum, there's a pet safe friendly one. There's the screen I currently have on my patio is aluminum. First moved in here, I was afraid the dogs and kids were gonna rip the fiberglass screen out and it was a much more durable option. But as you can see, uh, this screen is only three years old and it's covered in holes and, and it's got plenty of dents in it. That's one of the things I didn't like about the aluminum. Anything that you do to that screen, it will be there forever. Over time, it starts to look pretty rough, so it's just time for a new screen. I went with the fiberglass. It's a cheaper option to replace since I still do have kids and animals and dogs and cats. So I went with the cheaper option. That way, if I have to replace it again in the future. The other option is the pet safe screen which is on my actual door itself. Um, as you can see, this door was installed the same time as the aluminum and there's absolutely no tears or rips, so it holds up really, really well, um, but it is more expensive. So just keep that in mind if you're on a budget. The next thing you're gonna need is spline. An easy way to figure out what spline you need is just to take a piece of your old spline with you to the store and just compare it when you're buying it. If you don't have any spline, Here's how you figure out which size you need. So when you're figuring out what kind of spline you need, um, the best way to do it is to take a tape measure. You're gonna measure the gap up. Oh, my wife's neighborhood cat is back. Yeah, you tore my screen up. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, so what you're gonna do is, I know it's kind of hard to see, but what you wanna do is you wanna line this up on the top and you wanna count how many lines there are between the top and the bottom. So if I counted this, there's actually five little individual lines. So what you do is you take that number five and you divide it by 32. Mm -hmm. so you just take five divided by 32 and that's going to give you your width and it's going to be 1.56. Uh, it's better to round up the nearest size, so in this case I'm going to be using uh, 0.160 spline. Another tip too, if you don't have enough spline, you can reuse the old spline. Uh, it is recommended if you're putting new screen in that you use new spline, but if this is the only thing you got, then you can use that as well. After tape measure, you're going to need a spline rolling tool. You can pick these up pretty cheap um, at Home Depot, Lowe's, probably four or five bucks. You're going to need a utility knife uh, with extra blades just to so you can get clean trim on your on your screen. Um, and these are optional. You need a screwdriver, a pair of pliers. These are just to help you remove the spline from the screen. And then just some tape to hold your screen up while you uh, install your spline. Mm. <sighs> all right. The first step is to remove the screen. So you want to just go ahead and pull it all out and your spline might get stuck, so that's why you have the pliers if you need them. Just pull that out like that. Just like that. So you still have, if you have a screen in your patio, you wanna save this piece just as a template. If you don't have a template, what you wanna do is measure the gap. You wanna measure it from the inside of that lip. And since we need to go to the edge, I just wanna go a little bit longer. So in this case, it would be s around 76 and a half inches, um, but you wanna add another two to three inches. So if you were to do it this way, you would probably cut it, I would suggest cutting around 78 to 79 to give yourself a little room to trim the excess. So when using a template, you just wanna roll your screen out, your new screen that you're gonna use. And I like to use something to cut on. I like to do it just on a flat spot. That way I get good cuts and let it roll over like that. Take your template piece and you just want to be a little liberal. You don't want to cut it short. So give yourself about an inch on that side. And give yourself about another inch or two on this side. And then what I do is I, again, I like the straight edge not waste anything and then you take your knife and then you just cut along that line just 
Take your knife. Just cut it right down the line. And it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, um, but straight lines do help for the next piece so you don't have all wavy lines. So then you take your piece. But since I'm by myself today, I am using tape to hold it up. I'm just gonna use a few pieces just to get it to hold on the, on the top. And I'll probably end up having to move these around a little bit. Thanks. Tape it on the section you want it taped on. And luckily I'm tall, but if you're short, you might need a ladder for this part. If you have a really tall porch and you just want to make sure all your screen is covering all your inserts all the way around. I think that's good. Another tip for when you're re-screening your porch, you should try to do it on a day where it's not as windy. Uh, the wind really messes with the screen. So I only got about a five mile an hour wind right now. And as you can see, it still moves it around quite a bit. So if urgency isn't an issue, then I would suggest doing it on a day that's not as windy. Next step is to install your spline. Um, I always start at the top and then do the sides second and then the bottom last. It just seems like it gets a much tighter uh, screen that way. So you just wanna get it started in that line and you're gonna use your tool, just push it in. And then you're gonna run it all the way down. Once you get to the end, you just want to cut your spline right there. Be careful not to cut your screen. And if you have excess, just cut it off. Once you got your spline on all four sides, you're gonna see it's nice and tight. Shouldn't be any wrinkles in it when you look down it. And what you wanna do is you just take your utility knife and just trim off the excess on the top side of your spline. So you wanna stick it straight in there. And then make sure you stay on the top side and then just go all the way down with it very carefully. And then just remove the excess. And just be careful not to pull out your spline when you're doing it. Sometimes it might not cut all the way, so just be careful. And then just cut it. Once you trim everything up, just make sure none of your spline came out. Just check it. It's all smooth. If you see any spots that came out, just go ahead and roll them back in. And you're done. So you should have a nice, clean, tight screen. And you just repeat that process. And that's it. What do you think you're doing? <laughs>
like I said earlier, this, the, this is Dora's pet screen, so I didn't end up changing that out. Um, so that should last a few more years. Well, that's how you rescreen your patio. Hopefully it'll save you guys a lot of money. This is a 10 by 14 patio. So just so you have an idea. For all the tools and supplies, I did all this for under $100. Found the video helpful? Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I do appreciate all the support. If you guys wanna see more how-to videos in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.